Hi, this is Nathan, your neighborhood arcade and pinball talk guy. We're on location shooting a review of Shack Attack by Golub. Please look for our review underneath the description of our YouTube video. And let's go ahead and get this review underway, shall we? First things first, uh, plunger to right habit trail right in lane. Right ramp habit trails right in lane. You have a orbit that goes around your left area. It goes around the hoop to the center. You also have some drop targets to the back. Kick out to the front center. Kicks out to your right habit show right in lane. You have a four flipper setup on this. There's a kick out to the back of the net that will shoot that ball up, have a trail left in lane. Not a whole lot of call outs on this game. Music is what you would expect. You got the basketball sound uh, to the background. Uh, you have a ramp to the middle, which obviously will, or a launcher ramp, which will shoot the ball towards your net right there. Spinner underneath the net, which pushes the ball to the top right, left, or center of that area up there. Moderate speed, not super fast. There's a lot to shoot at on this game, but the only downfall of it is it is blocked heavily to the middle, which makes this a moderate to light high difficulty because obviously you have to get it around the center in order to be able to score. Flipper gap's not too bad, and of course, traditional setup in lane left right, exit lane left right. Theme is Shack Attack. Love it or hate it. Artwork is what you would expect of a game of this age. It could have been a lot better. Call outs could have been a lot better, but of course, again, this is an older game. As you notice, advanced bonus, it says break the backboard. There's a shot to the left. Uh, which is under the left habit trail, and that is a, you hit that, and of course you can advance the bonus. Replayability on this is not bad. It's got a lot to do on it. Lots of stuff to shoot at. Gameplay on it could be better. It's an average at most in my mind, but there's a lot of toys, a lot of things to do on it. So fun factor will be up there a little bit. As you can see, there's drop targets to the back right. One's lit up green right now, which we're trying to hit. Got a kick out to the center right there. Let's see if we can hit this ramp. Oh no, not bad. I mean, this game really, in our mind, is average, although it has a lot of stuff to do on it. It could have been so much better if it was just open to the center. So we're about to enter shoot, basket, multi-ball at this point. So we're loading it up right now for it to drop it. Three ball, multi-ball. Lots of ways to rack some points up on multi-ball in this game because obviously there's a lot to shoot at on there. You know, is this an on-location play? I would say Shack Attack is an on-location play. It's got a little bit of fun to it. You know, people that are out and about that want to play some pinball, this is a fun little game. It's got quite a bit more to it, obviously, toy-wise, ramp-wise. That'll keep people interested. Is this a home-use only game? Uh, it depends on if you like basketball or not and if you like the Gottlob style, but I would say more, more on location play for sure. So we're on kick out, obviously we have another ball that we're loading. Another multi-ball.
like I said, on location play, this is where I'm playing this right now. Uh, not bad, not bad at all. I mean, it, it has a lot to do. Did a little death save there, popped it out. Uh, obviously don't want to move the camera too much, bumping and nudging the table. That is one hell of a hard shot to hit to the center on that basket, I'll tell you that. It's a very interesting setup with the four flippers. But anyway, this, this game, all in all, is to us an 8.5. It has a lot going on. It just doesn't allow us to do what we need to do. It doesn't have the flow that we're looking for. So anyway, we're sticking to that, 8.5. Please look for our review underneath the description of our YouTube channel. And other than that, we appreciate you watching it. Thank you again, until next time.